So what's going on Toxic Gamers? A lot of people are mad tonight fellas, a lot of people are going crazy with the PS5 Pro news, the GTS 6 news, the 30 FPS news, you wanna play games at 30 FPS, oh man, we're gonna talk about it because you know there have been articles after articles that have been saying that GTS 6 will only hit 30 FPS on the PS5 Pro, it's claimed, like the video if you love your mama and like the video if you think PS5 Pro should not be costing us $700! This thing is crazy, okay? We're gonna get right into it. Oh man, the AI is looking kind of wild right there. We're gonna get back to it. Roll it. It is now officially just two weeks into the launch of the PlayStation 5 two Pro. Weeks. And it feels like this is still such a controversial system, just yeah. in general, because people are talking about the graphical boosts not being enough, the price tag being too big, and just in general, yeah. people seem to be split at their whether this is an act. Yeah, in, in other words, people are looking like this. In other words, people are upset. People are mad. People are like, hey, $700? $700? You guys crazy? And I get that. And I get that. And I get that. upgrade or just a fancy luxury item. Now, personally, I'm still not completely sold on the Pro. I mean, it just seems cool, but I'm not sure it's actually worth it. So I'm probably going to review it because I do like reviewing Sony go. tech. But today I want to there talk about a technical break. Yeah, man, I, I don't know if it's worth it, but I'm going to be the first one to review it, fellas. There we go. Bumble Club. Now that's stirring up some PlayStation 5 Pro drama that I think kind of paints a picture for the future of PlayStation games. Let's get into it. Hi, hope you're having a great day. And if you could, please give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. So what stirred up a lot of this drama is this morning, Alan Wake's developers talked about the PlayStation 5 Pro patch. What's going to be for the Pro when people no. start getting it if you have Alan Wake 2. And people noticed that we're getting FPS? a quality mode and a mm. performance mode. And quality mode is 30, 30 FPS. FPS. Now, a lot of people in the replies are instantly yeah, saying- To be fair though, at least they're having a performance mode. And I'm saying at least, I know, I know that's a, yeah, I, I get it though. A lot of people are really, really upset with it. Like why it's not native 60 FPS, which I get it though. But my the point that I'm trying to bring is that at least there is a performance mode, right guys? Because if there was no performance mode, if there was zero mention and zero performance mode that has the ability for the game to run at 60 FPS, oh man, that would have started WW5 in the gaming industry, man. It already has started, don't get me wrong, but it would have been a step further. But wait for it. Saying, how the heck are we still getting games at 30 FPS? I mean, I thought the point of the Pro was to eliminate 30 FPS games. Facts. So saying, okay, Facts. wasn't the points of the PlayStation 5 Pro. A lot of the talks from Mark Cerny, the trailers and stuff, were that they would no longer be dividing game modes instead of mm, picking between mm, mm. frame rate and graphics now you get Yay. frame rates and graphics and essentially we're now learning that that isn't necessarily a cut and dry case developers are still free to choose to make stuff however they want in this case remedy wanted to make this ray tracing mode and apparently it's just not ray possible for them to put ray tracing at 60 fps in this game <laughs> now i think this stuff so why ps5 pro like so why y'all like trying to sell ps5 pro that don't make sense though seven hundred dollars seven hundred dollars you suckers out of your goddamn mind seven hundred dollars okay if you're selling it for seven hundred dollars then include the disc drive make games at least run at 60 fps at least i mean on the normal playstation 5 box and same goes for the xbox as well that it, it, it was written that it was gonna be able to do 8k 120 fps and games are struggling to hit 30 fps man like damn bro it, it's a problem it's an issue on the xbox big time it's a, it's now apparently an issue on the playstation although on playstation most games are coming with the performance mode right so there's that yeah you can do 60 fps but you can do that on the normal ps5 as well so why do you need PS5 Pro for it? Yeah, okay, the graphics gonna be a little bit better, you know, you're gonna get like a little bit of uh, boost on it. But dog, like, go over on your monitor, go over on your TV settings, and just increase the sharpness. Bruh. Your game, I swear to god, your game is gonna look like that you're playing it on PlayStation 100 while being in the year 2024, bro. I swear to god, bro, I swear to god, give it a try, give it a shot, bruh. Like, Does the, video. Still like the video for pro tips. Sound good? But the fact that we're still going to be getting split modes is a bit strange to me. Mm. Now, I'm curious about this because there is a growing list of games that are confirmed to be enhanced by the PlayStation 5 Pro. Okay, this is dawn, a list yeah, of 72 Diablo. games. There's talks that maybe it's going to be... Uh, Assassin's Creed Shadows, a salute to Captain BBC! So, Captain BBC there. Alright, EA Sports, uh, to the game. 
yes, Force and yeah. Uh, yeah, The Last of Us Part Two Remaster. Bumbleclad, brothers. Bumbleclad. Bumble so yeah, The Last of Us Two Remaster, 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 Remaster. Enhance, enhance, enhance. Get it? Resident Evil Four. Okay, that's fair. Ratchet and Clank. All right, that's all right. Mortal Kombat. That's all right. Metal Gear Solid. Okay, okay. Spider Man Miles Morales. All right. Spider Man Two. Okay. Uh, Star Wars uh, Stellar Blade. Oh, Stellar Blade. That's I right, though. Yo, Stellar Blade. I'm excited though. I'm excited to see like the 5K, the 4K. I should say the 8K. Uh, are they gonna do 8K? I'm not too sure about that one. But yeah, I'm excited to see the Stellar Blade PS5 Pro enhancement. Oh, for sure, for sure, for sure. It'll be over 80 or 90 by the time this game actually comes out. UFC. And you'll see everything from Stellar Blade all the way over mm. to Spider-Man 2, Monster Hunter Wilds, Dwarf Journey, The Callisto Protocol, Alan Wake 2. And I think I'm curious to see how these different games choose to use that extra power. Because some stuff like Jeez. Resident Evil 4 already looks incredibly good. I would love to have that at an even higher frame rate. I think some of these games have talked about having a 120 FPS mode. And I'll be honest, higher frame rate makes games, especially horror games and action games and fighting games, in my opinion, it makes them look a lot, lot better. So I'm curious to see which games choose to go for this split mode. It would be... 120 FPS while games are struggling to run at 30 FPS. <laughs> oh man, oh man. The A and by the way, this gameplay that you're currently watching, this is made by AI. So this is GTA 4, the original, right? But check this. This is AI, I guess. This is AI. Holy crap! Look at that, man. You just saw, right? Like in front of your, your in front of your very own eyes. Like the the comparison. Like damn, guys. Like this is this is crazy, bro. Like I never Whoa! thought that. And you do not need a PS5 Pro for it. You just, of course, you need a PC, I guess. I edit some video, but could you imagine one day games are like this good with AI, with a flick of a switch, right? Because I'm assuming like the guy just added the gameplay in AI and he rendered it. Took some time, but he rendered the video and it looks this good. So eventually, it's gonna get to the point where. Sick is gonna be using AI to make games. They're already using AI, but you know, they're gonna take a step further and they're just gonna like flick the switch and it's gonna remaster the entire game. For sure, they're gonna have to bug check and test it and something's gonna be harder than the other. But that era is probably coming. Gonna take some time for sure. But eventually we're gonna have remasters looking like that. I mean, sheesh, bro, this is crazy though. But let's get back to it. It'd be interesting if some games actually choose to have a performance mode, but instead of being locked to 60 FPS, instead mm. it's boosted up to something like 100 FPS or 90 FPS. That to me definitely sounds more enticing. If the branching paths, the different styles of game modes start to be more dynamic, instead of just choosing to have blurry graphics and good frame rate or really, really crisp visuals and terrible frame rate. Yeah, now, yeah, the yeah, other yeah. thing I want to show here is they decided to do a uh, little display of the new thing. This is the new performance mode. So new? this is where you're okay. getting it at 60 FPS. New guys, new, all right. But with a lot, lot, lot better assets. Stuff like this, I believe, is beginning to sort of showcase the power of the PlayStation 5 Pro. Now, part of the reason this is just so fascinating is because we still haven't seen that many Pro games. We still haven't seen that many games actually being displayed. We have seen zero new PS5 Pro games today. GTA 6 is reportedly be uh, reportedly only going to hit 30 FPS. I hope that rumor is false. I hope this rumor is false. Come on, man. Not a game like GTA 6, though. Damn, man. It's running on a pro and how they're going to look different. I still feel like this is Damn, the weirdest homie. thing is that Sony is being surprisingly secretive, or maybe it's that a lot of developers are really trying to get it as polished as possible before the pro comes out. But it's weird that we're not Cap. seeing more about it. But this Cap. is from the official Remedy blog. And there's a part of it I noticed a lot of PlayStation fans have been laser focusing on. But it's them talking about the fact that they're trying to make this really be the best usage of that GPU to increase rendering resolution, to make it so image quality is the best it can possibly be and here's a quote i've seen everybody really dissecting oh, we did multiple wow. experiments including upgrading the 60 fps performance mode output from 1080 or sorry 1440p to 4k and adding pp pssr sony's ai based upscaling method which positively impacted the crispiness and stability under motion now a lot of people mm. are focusing on this i think because it's showing the fact that the new dev tools for the playstation yeah. 5 pro are actually very good there was the pp <laughs> <laughs> you know, that was uh you know come on dreamcast guy come on man get it together brother get it together talks homie. initially about how mock cerny was really pushing this pssr meaning that now it's going to be able to create more variable SLR, rates it's going to yeah. be able to on the back end make a better image quality pretty much automatically using these newer tools and essentially i think alan wake 2 already looks incredibly good 
it's nice to see that those developers are sort of finally coming out and attesting to the fact that Daniel, this new stuff like, is that? actually really good. But I wanted to take a look at this because here's people discussing this over here on the PlayStation oh. 5 Reddit, and it said this. This is something that's going to take time for people to get accustomed to. Yay. Internal resolution just isn't going to matter much going forward. The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered on the Pro is a good example of that. It runs at the same internal resolution as the performance mode on the PS5, which is 1440p, but the image output is crisper using PSSR, which means more details in the fidelity mode. We're still stuck with The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered on the PS5 Pro. This generation is cooked, y'all. I swear to God, bro, like... Where are the new games, my guy? Where are the new games, dude? Where are the new games, man? Where are the new games? We're still stuck with old games. The Last of Us Part 2 Remaster, I think it's gonna be amazing. I think it's gonna be amazing on the PS5 Pro. Get my love with that bull squash, son. Mode, which runs at a native 4K, so it just ends up being a waste of get system on, resources man. to target native 4K when you can get the same or even better at a lower resolution freeing up resources for other things uh, and here's the thing though i would not mind dynamic resolution yeah personally like i'm happy if a game is good and looks good at 1080 60 fps simple as that simple as that bro i'm a simple man i just want games 1080 60 fps that are good good story good gameplay good graphics and just overall a good and fun game simple brother simple man simple i don't even care for 4k games but like these things these things want to either have 4k ray tracing but 30 fps or it's like 60 fps but it's like uh no ray tracing or crap like that I, I just want like 1080 60 though i just want 10 minimum minimum of course minimum of course uh in this day and age especially with ps5 pro i get it though the appeal is that you're getting it to be able to not sacrifice any on anything or on any performance per se you don't want to sacrifice performance over th this is why you're getting ps5 pro right otherwise you can be happy with ps5 simple as that right so why are you getting ps5 pro or what why should we buy ps5 pro if there's gonna be basically the same performance levels because even on the normal ps5 yeah you got fidelity you got performance mode so performance being 60 fps graphically speaking it's not gonna be as sharp as as sharp as the fidelity but it i though it fine but if you're gonna get the same experience on the ps5 pro then why buy it like what's the reason to get ps5 pro right like sony y'all like has gotta get it together and there they, you guys should keep it 60 fps <laughs> with graphics with with ray twashing okay with ray twashing especially the last of us two remaster 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 that we're gonna get with abby the brock lesnar there's a scene with a there's a mocap scene an easter egg scene let me just put it that way with abby the brock lesnar in the last of us part two <laughs> remaster so yeah you guys have that in 4k right even on the normal ps4 what what are we talking about or i should say ps5 pro ps4 pro ps4 pro my bad you guys had it in like 4K uh, and on PS5, 4K as well. You got that ray tracing and all that. Yeah, right? Like, why? Why not 60 FPS in general? Damn. So essentially what this is saying that I think is kind of fascinating. Now, maybe this is just some hype, but it does seem to be legit is that it seems like these new tools will make it so stuff can run a lot better even mm. at incredibly high resolutions like some people have talked about a lot a very common complaint with current day games is that so many file sizes are ginormous like if you're trying yeah. to install a game that has a lot of 4k assets <laughs> a lot of times it'll be hundreds and hundreds of gigs even if the game isn't really that long or that crazy right it sucks to yeah, actually yeah, yeah, have yeah. a terabyte hard drive filled up by three big AAA games <laughs> but now hypothetically you could have lower asset quality because it's getting boosted by that ps SSR to create a sort of AI generated fake 4K that looks the exact same but without taking up as much space and without taking up as many computer resources. If you've ever played a game that's really really cutting edge and your PC is starting to get out. Now I, I don't mind the fake 4K uh, yeah right it's gonna be 1440p and 4K dynamic I don't mind that uh, games are already doing that you already got that on Xbox Series X and PS5 so why do you need ps5 pro bro <laughs> if it's gonna still do the fake 4k this crap that crap then why you need a ps5 pro bro like 4k 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 
outdated. You've probably experienced that like layered pop in where you're playing a game, you walk into an area, and there's like NPCs talking, and you'll see their clothes still trying to load, the background still trying to load. Everything has these like layers of blur to it as it's trying to populate tons mm. of different pieces of 4K assets. In fact, I think there's that very famous funny mm. screenshot of Horizon Forbidden West where a person is not loaded at all because it's Game trying boys. to pop them in at a manual 4K. So yep. hypothetically, according to devs, according to fans and stuff like that, it does seem like this kind of problem, this kind of very sloppy pop-in will perhaps be permanently solved using this PSSR and they'll have access to better frame rates because now they're not just trying to use a huge chunk of computer power just making the games run. Okay. All of this okay. on paper, I think does sound good, but let's see how it actually works out. To me, this does sound like a negative overall. Like, maybe it's just that I'm too much of a layman that I don't fully grasp the depths of GPU outputs and stuff like that, but... Now, overall, I mean, like, on paper, it don't sound that bad. I guess the only bad thing about this one is that you have almost similar thing available on normal PS5. So why do you have the same thing on PS5 Pro? On Pro, right? It should have been better. Yeah, but it's not. I guess it's gonna be a little bit sharper for sure. It's gonna be a little bit more crisper, but you can technically achieve the same level of quality by just upping the sharpness on your monitor or your TV, dog. <laughs> you just up the sharpness. That's it, bro. It's gonna be like you're playing the game on PlayStation 100, dog. PlayStation 10, PlayStation 100, whatever you wanna imagine, it is yours. It's already here. You just need to imagine it. You just gotta believe it. And boom, there you have it, fellas. There you have it, folks. Check out this video on the screen. Recently, we had some massive gameplay leaks for GTA 6 as well. Check out this video on the screen, and I'll see you right there. If you've already seen it, then check out the video on the left.